Munchkins, I know that I haven't made any updated videos for my transgenderness in a while. Um, I, I, um, when I just not make random days, I kind of want to make like a, like a long, just video, like maybe weekly or bi-weekly or something of, of everything that I, you know, any change that I've seen. Um, because like most of the changes that I've seen, um, I've already told you and they're just getting a little more enhanced. Um, <clears throat> I just want to post this. I do, I'm going to make a big like, I want you guys to ask me questions. Any questions you guys would like to know about this, you know, whether it's, you know, my, my train of thought before doing it, my, you know, my, my, tran my transformation, um, or any questions you have about the changes, my body, my mood, any, any questions you want to know. I'm going to be making a video, like a Q&A type of interview with one of my friends, hopefully soon. I just want to get you guys, your guys' input and your guys' questions. Um, I know I've answered some questions already. I just want to, like, answer a few more. Um, you know, give me some input. Give me some questions you guys want me to want to know about this. Um... I, I mean, there hasn't been a lot of things. Uh, uh, one of the things that I wanted to talk about that has happened was I I have been noticing um, since I, I dress a lot more feminine, obviously now during the day and obviously all the time, um, like when I'm like super feminine, like when I get up and like I have, have like a bright day and I put on my makeup like today and not today. I didn't do my hair. I just put it in a bun, but I straightened my hair and it's all big. Um, I mean, long. I do notice, um, a bit more, um, I don't want to say checking out, I mean, maybe, I noticed a couple guys checking me out, I did, like, you know when somebody gives you a bad look, and you know when somebody's giving you, like, a good look, and I've gotten some, like, check, gotten checked out, like, the other day I was walking into work, and some guy was walking out, and he just, like, smiled, but... I see him in the office a few times before. Not in my my office is really big. It's a big building with different offices. But I see him come out one time, a few times. He's come out of the in here. I think he works here. And he's like, "Hey," he like smiled. He's like, "Hey, what's up?" And I was like, "Hi." And I just kept walking because I I'm not gonna stop and talk. I don't know him. But when I saw his ref, I was looking at the reflection in the in the window. He like turned around and like checked me out, and I was like, "Oh my god, I got checked out." And the other day, I went for a walk with my, um, a friend that's visiting. We took the dog for a walk. And I was kind of in a bad mood because I lost something and I was looking for it. So I went back to where we were walking. We were retracing our steps to where we walked through. And I didn't find it. So I was kind of upset because I needed, it was an important item that I needed. <clears throat> so... I see, I was walking to this liquor store, we went to the liquor store to see if they were, they sold a certain item, and we were, as we were walking, I was walking up towards a vehicle with two guys in it, and I could tell, they had tinted windows, but I could tell they were looking at me, and I was like, oh, are they like, looking at me like in a bad way, or I don't know, I was just, plus I was really pissed already, not pissed, but I was really frustrated, um, so anyways, I was uh, walking towards it, and like, when I came around this towards the window they're looking at me and then I went around the car in the back to retrace my steps through the back the guy um gets out of the passenger side and he like walks towards me and he was not a bad looking guy but I was in such a bad mood because I was looking for my stuff and he's like hey what's up and I was like hi like so rude usually I'd be like hi what's up what's your name and I was like hi and I kept walking like a bitch like he was probably like but that's one of the, I think that's probably the first time I've gotten, like, hit on, like, out in public like that. Because I've gotten hit on, like, at clubs and stuff or bars. Um, but that's the first time, like, it happened, like, in public. And I'm assuming that's considered hit on if he was like, hey, what's up? Uh, and I was like, hi. And I kept walking like a bitch. But, um, hoping you guys are enjoying my other videos, too. Like, my TMI, my, I just uploaded one about, um traveling or something yeah duh my my trip this weekend so hope you guys are enjoying those and um oh I, I guess I'll talk about the negativity part I haven't received too much negativity I mean here and there I'll get some on Instagram 
I really, really don't care if people are talking about me because I don't know you. And it's just, it's almost like a joke to me when people talk about me and they don't know me. Um, so it's just funny to me. Like, it's some people that have time to go comment shit on my Instagram and talk shit about me. Like, get a life. You would never say that to my face. Like, I know you wouldn't say that to my face. Um, I do have people, okay, well, if you, I know a lot of you guys follow Dulce Candy, um, which is a childhood friend of mine. Well, we, you know, had a catch up this last weekend. We caught up uh, last week on Friday and, um, she posted a few pictures of us and the negativity was so crazy. I didn't read a lot of the comments. I just thought they were funny and not funny. Like it's I, the situation was just funny. And there's a lot of people that were doing the same positive things, which I appreciate. And I do th thank you for having an open mind and being, and being so positive. But, um, God, I hate my double chin. I think I gained my 15 pounds back. Anyway, people were just writing stuff. And, like, we're sitting there. Um, it was me, Dulce, and her friend. We were just having a cocktail, catching up like other people do. People sit, sit in catch up and have a cocktail and we had sushi we we're laughing i'm like like these people are like blowing up blowing up instagram and like going crazy and we're like wow like we really don't care we're sitting here having sushi and a drink like we're uh, like oblivious to what's going on on instagram i didn't see it till later on because my ipad was blowing up i need to open this window because i'm burning right now uh see i'm melting Sad. Okay. So anyway, um, that's uh one of the things that I want to say about the negativity. That's most of the negativity I've gotten was on social media from random strangers. Everybody that I've okay, it's too loud outside. Everybody that I'd have encountered to in public, I ha I've nothing. I haven't gotten anything negative. Um, even on my trip uh to Mexico this last weekend, everybody was so normal and positive and. It's just funny how people, like, have balls on fucking Instagram, like, to go and, like, talk shit. And, like, it's just funny to me. It's really not offensive to me. It's more funny. I know people do. I'm not the type of person to get offended very easily. But I know people are. And, and it is something that people need, need to educate themselves on on um, what they don't know of. And that's one of the main reasons that I... I'm doing these videos is to educate people about what transgender people are. When I was younger, all I knew about transgender people or transgender women was like, and and this is, sounds offensive, but I'm transgender, so I, I I'm not trying to say I'm allowed to say this, but this is just how I saw transgender people. It was just like, oh, just a gay guy that wants to be a girl, like like a drag queen that wants to be a girl, or. <clears throat> And uh, and uh, uh, there's also misconception also that like, and and this is what I thought when I was younger. Not right now, obviously, because I was younger. I was like very uneducated about transgender. I didn't get it. I didn't understand it. And that's why I think was one of the, one of the main things that made me afraid to be, to for that to be, for me to be part of that world. But um, also was like they were like you know um, they were dirty and the, most of them were like prostitutes and. And that's not what it is. Obviously, I'm not a prostitute. I have a good job and, a, you know, that's, I'm not even going to get into that. But everybody has a misconception of what they don't know. And it's just what you hear. It's not until you educate yourself about what it is. So I did reply to some of those comments. And that's, I know a guy wrote something like, um, oh, that's a guy or something. Or that's a boy. Um, I, I'm like, I used to be a boy. Educate yourself for a better tomorrow. Uh, anyway, that was kind of catty, but whatever. Educate yourself. Educate your children. If you don't understand something, don't knock it. Just, I can't even get into it. It's so complicated. Like, I don't understand why people go into, if you don't, if I don't like something, if I see something on Instagram that I don't like, let, let, let's say it's, a. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just like, if I don't like something, I'm not going to go and comment negative, negativity on it. This person's trying to park next to me they don't even fit anyway so if you don't understand it just don't knock it why why the need to go and write something like negative about somebody that you don't know 
on their Instagram. Anyway, this video is way too long, and um, I just wanted to give you guys like a, a little update. So, interview coming up. This is already 10 minutes long. I'm ranting, but I just wanted to give you guys a nice little um, update. So, I'll upload this in a, a few days because I just uploaded too many videos this last week. You guys have a good time, and I love you guys, and thank you for your support. XOXO Gossip Girl.